Welcome back to Inca Tech. Today we're going to be checking out the Galaxy A53 5G and unlike before we're not going to do an unboxing. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there that will show you what's in the box and the features. Um, however, what I am going to do today is showcase what this phone could actually do. Um, unlike the S models that has Samsung DeX, that does not come in this device. So meaning if you want to use this phone as an external PC or a secondary PC, you cannot connect it to a monitor. However, you could still mirror from this device to a Samsung TV or any mirroring devices. You could also use this device as a on the go PC if you are that type of person, which is what I'll be showing you today. Meaning that if I want to use a wireless mouse and a wireless keyboard, we could go ahead and use that here as well as we could use this type of dongles okay to connect a wired keyboard and mouse to the device but for starters let's start with wireless so let's say i want to connect my mouse to the samsung a53 one cool feature is that we could go ahead into bluetooth here i already have the mouse connected right so now that it's reading you can see the mouse and the tracker moving around the screen and it's pretty cool because it actually looks like a computer mouse um, if you're using a pc this is the same if you use a mac sometimes you could customize it but kind of get the idea now let's say i want to go ahead and add the keyboard because i'm going to go ahead and search online or what may be we're going to go back to bluetooth once again and we're going to make sure that our bluetooth keyboard is on and here's already scanning so it should already be able to pick up the device might take some time let me reset this so here we're going to be able to see get in device name it's probably going to say my name we're going to go ahead and pair it parent bluetooth enter the code 7926693 and enter okay now both of these devices have been connected. So now I could go ahead and minimize here or close this out, go to Chrome, and then I could start typing. This is just a test as an example, right? We could also use, because this is a Mac keyboard, you could use PC, Windows PC uh, shortcuts um, to copy everything and delete stuff. So let's see. Look at that control W closes out that window. Okay. Um, so there's other cool features like here, for example, volume up, volume down when you're using the mouse. So uh, I should say a keyboard. So let's give this a try with the dongle. You should be able to connect a wired keyboard or mouse to the device. So let's try that out. All right, I've gone ahead and connected the wired dongle from USB-C, which adapts to the A. And back here, I have two other A adapters. Now, if I was to use the mouse, you can see that it actually works great. That's an example there. I'm going to minimize this. This doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to go back to the web and search for some content. Okay. In this case, let's say Samsung A53 5G review. So this is just for the sake of reviewing this. I could go ahead and scroll down, scroll up. I could even do a right click, I believe. Yeah, look at that. See? So it acts once you connect these hardwares, it acts as a PC. Unfortunately, like I said before, because the Samsung DeX is not included in this A model, and it's understandable as it's a mid-range phone, uh, you won't be able to use it as a PC connecting it to a monitor. However, you could still mirror to a Samsung TV or any other mirroring devices. Uh, let's see if I could give it a try in my living room where we have a smart TV. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're outside in the living room and let's go ahead and connect to smart view. Go ahead and toggle down and find smart view. Here you're going to see the name of the TV that you want to connect and mirror. In this case, 55 inch TCL Roku to be. I'm going to go ahead and start now. And just in case you can't find smart view, 
right on the steps that we were just doing you go ahead and move to the right and you'll see an addition sign or an add sign you could go ahead and add smart view if you cannot see it from there anyways once you go ahead and click on smart view make sure you allow your tv to connect to the device otherwise it will not cast on over once you've given the device access to the tv to mirror you should be able to see everything from your phone on over to the tv so let's go ahead and give that a test now you may not see it here but once you're connected to smart view you could allow your device to connect and record from the phone onto the tv meaning you could do a mirroring screen selfie just like you see here and if you're doing like a walkthrough such as i was um, you could definitely record it that way as well once you're connected to smart view you could actually start using your tv as a monitor no need for cables and since you've already connected via bluetooth both the keyboard and the mouse you could actually start typing away with that and search online for anything you may want to do if you're into excels or any word documents you could download them and use them use your a53 as a pc hopefully you guys enjoyed it until next time inca tech out